Welcome to Holly EFI Training Part 5. In this video, we're going to take a look at working with our data logging feature. Our data logging is going to allow us to capture data to a file that we can play back at any point in time. We're going to have both laptop style data logging where we can use our laptop to actually record the data as well as our onboard data logging where we can record the data to a separate memory location on our Holly HP or Dominator boxes. I'm going to be walking you through how to set up the onboard logging and then retrieving the logs off the onboard logger memory so you know exactly what to do when you're starting to work with data logging. So without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with data logging in our Holly EFI software. Data logging is going to be an essential part of our calibration process. We're not able to do any kind of tuning without taking data logs so we can play back data and review what is going on. So whether we're going to be in racing conditions, we're going to be calibrating things on a chassis dyno, or for troubleshooting purposes, we need to work with and learn how to use data logs. So that's why I'm introducing it so early on in the training course. Now we're going to have two different ways we can work with data logs. We're going to have a laptop style data log and an onboard data log. So both are going to be needed doing various different kinds of data logging. We're going to cover both in this video. But before we go into any of that, let's talk about what data logging represents or what it, we're going to be expecting when we work with it. So when we're communicating live with our ECU, uh, we obviously took a look at that. We have our live data down here that's going to be streaming. Let's go up to our U USB link and let's do that right now. We can see that if I click OK here, we are streaming real time right now. We can see that our channels here are moving around a little bit. My engine is idling right now. So I'm capturing my live data. Now I am not recording this data. That's what the data logging is going to allow me to do. It's going to allow me to take whatever's going on here in my live data as my engine is running and record it to an actual file that I can use to play back at any point in time. So um, what we're going to find is that we have the two different forms of our data logging. We have our laptop logging and our onboard logging. The laptop logging is going to be used when we have our USB cable plugged into our laptop, plugged into our HP or Dominator box, and we can start to stream that data out and log it to an actual file that we can play back. So uh, essentially we're limited to 30 frames per second or 30 snapshots of this live data every second when we're recording to the file using our laptop. Now it's very, very simple to initiate the data log and to start to work with it. All we need to do is jump into our icon right here when our vehicle is, our Holly box is powered on. So the engine doesn't need to be running. We could just do this when the engine is off, uh, but the box is powered on. And we've clicked on online here and we've established that USB link. So it's not going to show us that USB link. So let's go back here. Let's click off of it. It's not going to be showing us USB link. We can't initiate our data log unless we go here and click online. Let's click OK. And we're actually online with the, uh, the HP or the Dominator box. So when I click the logo here, it's going to start to capture the data. It's going to be recording all of the channels from the Holly, which is really nice. Other engine management systems, we have to pick and choose what channels we want to log. The Holly will log everything. As long as the icon here is clicked on and it's illuminated in red, that means that the laptop logging is logging all of the information. You can log for several hours if you'd like. It's going to have a huge file, um, so you're not really limited to uh, how much you can log with your laptop logging, but generally we want to go capture our data logs in smaller segments. So if we're looking at maybe doing part throttle cruise tuning, we only want to go and initiate and click the icon when we want the log to start, and then click the icon when we want the log to shut off so that we capture it for five minutes. Rather than capturing it for an hour, we have to go back through all of that data. We have a really large file. It's going to make the uh, data logging uh, analysis a little bit harder. So we want to be a little bit specific when we're working with the data logging and starting and stopping here, the laptop logs, just in the conditions where we want to take a look at the data. So let me go up here right now. Again, my engine is idling. We can see it's idling right here, about 1,000 RPM. Let me go right here into my toggle logging status. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.